92.5. Second date update. I realized after doing a lot of these second date updates, we're always acting like we're the superheroes of dating. Mm, Helping okay. daters in distress, just mm-hmm. swooping in, trying to save the day. Yeah. I mean, we kind of are. I like that. No, <laughs> you know what? That's Why? negative thinking. Being a superhero is negative thinking. <laughs> it, it's so self-involved. We need to change our attitude to a more positive outlook. Okay. You know, oh. instead of just saving other people's lives, doing the bare minimum, we need to actually make them better and improve their love lives. You know what I'm saying? Well, haven't we been trying to do that? No. Okay, I think by okay. the end of this phone call, I, I want our calling? listener, Ivan, to not only get a second date, uh-huh. but I want to have a wedding day locked Whoa. down Whoa. and names chosen for their future okay. babies. Are you guys with me? <laughs> no. Come on. Well, yeah, you're I'm crazy. You, yeah. You're the crazy dater now. Oh, yeah. That. Love is crazy. Okay. Is that what you're saying? No, <laughs> you're a little I'm, clingy. A little I'm, clingy, I'm, just trying to, I'm trying to think positive and do more uh-huh. than the bare minimum for okay. these people. Like, <laughs> Ivan... I've got a lot of baby name suggestions for your future children, but before we get to that, tell us about the name of the woman that you would like us to call today. And have kids with. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, that's a whole lot to comprehend there. Uh, (laughs) Her name is Bridget. That's a gorgeous oh, name. Okay. That sounds like the name now, of someone that is your soulmate. I don't know what Jeffrey's been Stop. smoking today or whatever. <laughs> but Brooke, you got to hit this love pipe. I'm telling you. <laughs> it is worth it. <laughs> Let's go back to Bridget. Sorry. Tell us more about Bridget. How'd you meet? We met on a dating app. Okay. Nice. Sounds like marriage. Yeah. So <laughs> what What'd you guys do on your date? So uh, we messaged a little bit on the app. Went out for dinner, got some ramen. It was Ooh, well, good oh. choice. is it a good choice? Well, you slurp a lot when you eat ramen. That's what I'm saying. It's a little bit of a messy first date, but maybe messy's good. It could oh. be a character. <laughs> Remember, maybe. he's on that positive train right positive. now. You're on that positive <laughs> train, Jeffrey. I like a, like a little messy boy. <laughs> a little wet yeah. at the table. Yeah. Yeah. What was dinner like? I thought dinner was great, and then we actually went out for a walk afterwards. That's always Ooh, good. Bro. A walk is good, but a stroll is better. No, <laughs> shut up, <What>? Jeff. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a, a romantic stroll <laughs> Just is saying, what you'd find in the if, in the rom com. If she it's, agrees, it's, it's after the same the thing. Day, no, uh, it's not the same. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ivan, tell us like a highlight. You know, like yeah, you went to dinner and you went on a walk, but like, mm-hmm. where was the connection at? I took her to this old bookstore. Cute. And we kind of talked about our favorite books that we loved while we were growing up. And we left little post-it notes in the parts of the books that we particularly liked. And we wrote down why we liked them and what drew us to the books so that when people are going to come in and look at these books, they're going to see these little messages from previous readers of the book. That's really cute. So, I mean, not something I would ever do. (laughs) Alexis doesn't like to read a lot, but I I think that's awesome. So, I mean, is that something you planned ahead? Like you brought the post notes with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a big one that I came up with right before the date. I I really liked it. What did Bridget think about the post-it note idea? I mean, she seemed really into it. We stayed at this bookshop for like an hour doing this. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh. That's a lot of going through books. It yeah. does sound boring. Yeah. And the one employee that's like, now I have to take all these posters yeah. out of the books. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. How, how did the rest of the date go? I mean, that was just the end of it there. I thought it ended well. I was like, hey, we should do this again sometime. She agreed to it. Mm-hmm. And then uh, we said our goodbyes. And I just didn't hear back from her. And I, I've been texting her. And I even texted her right before I you know, reached out to you guys. Mm-hmm. I asked her why she hadn't been getting back to me. Oh. And did she respond? She texted back a one-word reply. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What was it? Uh-oh. It was just seatbelt. Seatbelt? Seatbelt. Is did that, that two words? Yeah. yeah. Did that mean any? It's one <laughs> 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 did, did that she mean? She typed it as one, apparently. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> did that mean anything to you? Your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea what that meant. Did you wear seatbelts in the car That's, when you drove her home? Maybe you didn't wear one and she didn't feel safe that you weren't? To be honest, I don't even remember if I was wearing one. I uh, thought I was. Maybe I don't really keep track of how many times I'm wearing a seatbelt while driving. But that mm-hmm. shouldn't be a deal breaker. Yeah. Was like, one of the books that you read about seatbelts? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a how-to guide, how to yeah, use how it. Yeah, how-to seatbelt for dummies. <laughs> They're boring, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, I don't remember if any of the books were about seatbelts. Mm-hmm. And that's what I said to her. I, I was like, seatbelt, what does that mean? Yeah. And yeah. no response. Nothing. No response. Oh, we got a seatbelt mystery on our yeah, hands. Yeah. And you've come up with no theories. I mean, again, that's why I'm reaching out to you guys. This is kind of out of character for me to just, you know, put myself out there mm-hmm. like that. Well, we're going to play a song. We'll come back. We'll call Bridget for you, and we'll give her the code word seatbelt. Mm. And we'll see what she says when we do your second date update right after this, okay? Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. You got it. Hold on. Ivan, I've been thinking about future baby names oh, for when this whole God. second date thing works out. No. I thought we told you to slow it down. No, I'm looking ahead. This is going to work. And Ivan, what do you think about our buckle? Our no. buckle? Like buckle? Oh, like a seatbelt? Seat oh. yeah. oh, okay. That's cute. Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh, really? Thanks, it's Brooke. Not. Okay. What about what about click B? Oh, no. Again. Click B? That sounds like a robot. No, That's it's like, like a... click. <laughs> click like a seatbelt. Yeah. Like two pieces of. Uh-huh. Okay, Let's no. Just not. Yeah, it's cute. It... Yeah. It's sure. the one <laughs> thing that ties the two of them together is the word seatbelt. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess. But uh... Uh, again, I kind of just want that second date. <laughs> yeah, well, dude, we know. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, maybe it doesn't sound amazing right now. Okay. But when I'm officiating your wedding on June 23rd oh, of next year, oh I just want you to days. think of those names. Why are you date. doing this? He is not going to want us to make this call because you're being psycho. Because yeah. I believe in love too hard? Oh, my God. Is that what no, it is? Exactly, because you believe in love too hard. Okay, yeah. well, if you're just tuning in for the second date update, Ivan took a woman named Bridget out to dinner. Afterwards, they took a stroll, visited a bookstore, where they spent an hour leaving sticky notes in old books, like a romantic first date book report. Kind of. <laughs> Very passionate stuff. It's like the cliff notes of dating. Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards, Bridget wasn't getting back to him, so Ivan just texted her, why are you avoiding me? And she actually responded to that with one thing, saying, seatbelt. He's yeah. not really sure what that means, but we're going to try and find out when we call her in the second date update. You ready to do this, Ivan? Let's do it. God, I hope we can figure this out for you, because it does sound like a really romantic date. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a great date. I really liked her. But beyond all that, I'm kind of just thrown off by this whole seatbelt thing. I, I almost right. want to find out what the whole seatbelt thing was more so than the date. <laughs> well, <laughs> hopefully we can accomplish both. Yeah. yeah. What if yeah. that's like yeah. a new dating term that we don't know yet? And it's a good <laughs> like thing. Like breadcrumbing or ghosting? Yeah. You're uh-huh. getting seatbelted. Seat seatbelts or yeah. something. Okay. Huh, we well, let, Google this. Let's find out. I'm going <laughs> to dial the number right now. Ready? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Bridget, please? Yeah, this is Bridget. Who's this? Hi, Bridget. My name's Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. How are you doing? Um, fine. How, I'm sorry, how did you get my number? Well, we actually got your number from somebody that you went on a date with recently because we're doing something called a second date update. Wait, somebody I went on a date with gave you my number? That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Okay, well, we got to that quickly. Okay, well, I mean, <laughs> true. he did it for a good reason because he really enjoyed his time with you, and now he's wondering why you're not getting back to him. His name's Ivan. Wow, okay. 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 Uh, he sounds like a really nice guy. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and he told us a little bit about the things that you did together. He mentioned that you guys went and got ramen, you went to a bookstore, took a stroll, And then after the date, he did say that you were avoiding him a little bit, and he asked you why, and you texted him one word, seatbelt. Actually, that's two words. I knew it! I knew it! We thought that might be the case, but that's what Ivan said to us. Is seatbelt one word? Can it be used interchangeably? Maybe. I, don't know. I mean, that's a whole other debate. Too. Maybe in Europe it's different. <laughs> I think Boise's a little different. I don't know. It's better than a U in Europe. You know what? Let's forget the second date update and let's break down the word seatbelt for the next 10 minutes. Do they buckle on the I right mean, or the left? Bridget, I'm, the thing is, is he has no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, it is a total mystery to him. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what? It's actually kind of funny that he still doesn't get it. Oh, it's okay. like a joke. It yeah. it should, it, I mean, you're saying it should be that obvious? Yeah, like it should be painfully obvious. Oh, okay. No. Well, it hasn't been. Maybe if you just told us, we could pass along the information to Ivan. Yeah, but fine. So he picked me up and we're driving. And you know how like if you don't buckle your seatbelt, like that really annoying alarm 
just keeps going off saying like buckle up buckle up yeah yeah yeah, yeah. mine's mine's just a dinging noise but it, i don't know if <laughs> your car right. talks my car so old. <laughs> that's <laughs> what she meant jeffrey uh, okay. well, ding fire. ding ding i know but it's saying to you buckle up buckle up buckle yeah. up even though it's ding ding yeah ding. yeah okay. we got okay. you <laughs> you want the answer or not yeah, yeah sorry. sorry bridget i apologize i don't know if he was just like really nervous on the first date or what but he was completely oblivious to the fact that it kept going off and like oh. I tried to bring it up. I didn't want, I don't know. It's first date. It's weird. Yeah. So I tried to be like, you know, hey, do you hear that sound? And he's like, oh, yeah, there's police sirens. I'm like, how do you not hear this? What? And like, the, you know, it was a cute idea. Like, we put notes in the books, but we're finding these children's books and like writing notes for them um, is what he had us do. Like, he brought post its. And mm -hmm. anyways, he had to ask me how to spell words to write oh. on the notes. Okay, no one judge well, bad spellers. Well, what, Get out of here. What's the okay, word? Yeah, what depends. word is he needing it help depends. with? Yeah. They were easy words, like not more than like six letters. Yeah, but like if you're talking receive, I couldn't spell it to save my life, okay? <laughs> I before E except after C. Yeah, exactly. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. It is, yeah. but it's not always true. English is very tricky. But if you're going to a bookstore, shouldn't you be good at words? No. Yeah. <laughs> I read constantly, and I'm a terrible speller. I don't know. Well, okay. I guess everybody is allowed to have their own personal dating deal breakers. I'm looking for a guy who's an intellectual, who's smart, who can keep up with me, and I just felt like he was a little, like, sweet guy, but a space cadet. Uh. That's like oh, I heady. think you didn't give him enough a chance. I'm sticking up for the bad speller mm. and the partially deaf person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about I mean, that. I don't know. How else could you not hear the dinging? I mean, well, it is a good point. I, you can go on a date with him. I, no, I don't want to. I want you to go on a date with him. Because yeah. I think he really likes you and he thinks that you guys had a connection. Let's see if that's still true after all that was said. Because I need to tell you, Bridget, Ivan's been on the other line listening and he heard everything that you just said. Are you kidding me? If he's paying Maybe attention, I don't know. <laughs> Ivan, you still there? Wait. <sighs> nope. Yeah, no, okay. I'm, I'm here. I'm oh, okay. here. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of, <laughs> no. I'm kind of shocked that that sounds really petty. Ooh. Everything I just heard. Okay, but before you, how do you spell petty? <laughs> it's, you nope. spell it Bridget. That's how you spell it. Oh. 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 I just didn't have as good of a time, and I'm sorry that we didn't have the same experience. Oh. Well, then why didn't you say that? Why just be all cryptic with just the seatbelt? Which, by the way, are you my driving instructor? Like, are you judging <laughs> everybody you date by their driving skills? Like, my you gosh. know, if you're not if you're not smart enough to use protection in the car, it just makes me nervous about everything else. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a bold statement about life. <laughs> that's <isn't> interesting. <laughs> Wow. Okay. If you're that concerned about protection, why didn't you tell me to put on my seatbelt? Yeah. You know, I didn't want to be rude. You're an adult, and I thought you could make your own decisions. <laughs> so I tried to hint at it and tell you, and you were completely oblivious. Okay, so what? I, I forgot to put my seatbelt on. I'm sorry, I guess, but Jesus, that just sounds a little much to me. I mean... <laughs> okay, I, I mean, I think you guys... Obviously, Ivan, you have kind of hurt feelings right now. And Bridget, you didn't know he was on the phone. So it's not your mm. fault for just being honest, like a little brutally honest. Yeah. Mm. But like, didn't you? I mean, it sounded like you guys connected in some ways. Like he put a lot of effort and thought into creating a romantic date for you. Yeah, for sure. And I think if you go find like a kindergarten teacher or something, it's like a sweet girl. <laughs> I think she would oh, love so that. Like, keep... Now you're insulting kindergarten teachers. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm saying somebody who's sweet and patient and can deal with, you know. Well, I don't know anybody who can pass your standards then because, my gosh, it sounds like you're looking for, I don't know, a robot, a self-driving car. Someone who can car. spell and wear their seatbelt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. asking for a lot there, Bridget. I mean, I... I mean, you're just not my person. Ding. What was what? that? Huh? Ding. <laughs> What's oh, it's a oh. seatbelt Ding. Oh, okay. Yeah, you you hear how annoying it is? We get Ding. It. What are you dinging? Ding. Ding. Oh, okay. Ding. No wonder I, she got annoyed. Is this how you're getting back at her? I think it's a diss. Yeah. Or maybe... Uh, yeah. Ding. Oh. Okay. <laughs> or maybe maybe it's the studio ding, telling me ding, that this is ding, the time for ding, me to ask. Ding. Would it's you guys ding. like oh, to... <laughs> would you guys like to go out on another date, Bridget? We'll pay for it. No, you can save your money. Ding. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ivan, I'm standing up for you. Stop the dinging. Now you spell ding. Ding. I <laughs>
I literally I mean, want to put on a seatbelt. Right I now. know. I feel like I. He is kind of funny though. No. Oh, Ivan, did you hear what she just said, or did you miss it? I couldn't hear anything she said. <laughs> All I heard was the digging. Oh. 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 Wow. Okay. Yeah, well, okay, Ivan. <laughs> yeah, she said no to a second date. I'm sorry, man. Too bad. Just want to let you guys know I passed my driver's test with a perfect score, so I don't know what she said. Oh. Okay, you show her. <laughs> the, spe- one time. the spelling test, though, is a different story, <laughs> isn't it, Ivan? <laughs> Moving 92.5.